Oh, man. I can't be late on the first day. <laughs> The school year's over, son. You missed it. Great. <gasps> Let's face it. We all run late for classes once or twice as students. And being late is sometimes unavoidable. Tardiness is one of the most frustrating and repetitive problems among students, especially college students. According to the Grace Fixer in 2018, on the study tardiness and lateness as school problems, lateness is defined as being late for an amount of time past the scheduled start time for school, and can be considered as a chronic problem for both students and teachers. For example, school time in Vietnam is usually at 7 o'clock, so those who fail to show up either before or at this time point will be counted as being late. And the situation has become more and more common amongst college students in Vietnam. According to Zing News, most of the time, Vietnamese students usually blame their lateness for the external factors such as traffic jam, broken vehicles, weather condition, to name a few. And others, on the other hand, put the blame for the lateness on the internal causes like sleeping hours, personal attitude towards punctuality, preferences for subjects. And what is worse, one of the reasons for students' unpunctuality finds the root in the thought that everyone hardly arrives on time, so why bother to show up early? Is this a case in point amongst college students from the leading institutions in our country? In order to answer this question, we decided to investigate the problem in the University of Languages and International Study, ULIS for short, one of the seven member universities of Vietnam National University, Hanoi, VNU a leading higher educational institution in Vietnam. The examined individuals are the students from different majors and classes in the list. We have conducted the survey among 106 ULIS students, ranging from first year to fourth year. According to the conducted statistics, among more than 100 students, a vast majority of ULA students are reported either rarely or sometimes come to class late, approximately 70%. To be specific, they are only late for classes for 2 to 8 times per semester, and only 2.8% of the total number who are always late. The data also shows that the mean number of minutes a student might be late is mainly less than 10 minutes, about 68%, which we believe not a serious number for lateness. So it's safe to say that this is not a widespread phenomenon amongst ULA students. There are two primary categories in terms of the roots for students' lateness external causes and internal causes. Weather plays an integral part in students' decision to show up on time for classes. Approximately 87% of the population claim that weather does affect their punctuality. Contrary to common belief, we found a low correlation between the distance from home to university and the frequency of being late. So, if your house is far away from school, doesn't mean that you would run late for classes, and even those who live right in the campus can be late from time to time because they tend to take that advantage for granted. Regarding the correlation between subjects and frequency, the survey's results indicate that the more interested in a subject students might be, the more likely they are to be on time. To be specific, major subjects, 
such as English linguistics, interpreting, translation, and so on, both gain around 61 percent positive votes for preference and have the highest frequency of rarely coming to class late. Besides, for less favorable subjects, such as social subjects, Ho Chi Minh ideology, introduction to geography, and science subjects, like advanced maths, introduction to informatics, students have a tendency to be sometimes late. Most notably, it is obvious that PE possess the highest number of students who never attend the lesson late, which accounts for 38%. This shows that the issues of being late will be taken into more serious in consideration when it comes to the types of subjects requiring strict attendance checking. Apart from the questionnaire, we also conducted some interviews to get a better understanding and take a deeper look at the participants' opinions and attitude toward the matter of being on time. Well, it's typical of me to go to class late. I am always in this situation. In most classes I attempt, actually um, for some general classes in the morning, I, um, I am always late for about 15 minutes and for some major classes in the afternoon, I only, I'm only late for about five minutes. So I think it's quite embarrassing for me, but I need to admit that um, I am often late to class uh, by about five to ten minutes, um, especially in uh, the morning classes. I usually come to class late, maybe on a regular basis, and um, and I think that I I'm usually late for class about like ten minutes. Yeah. So usually the class start at nine fifty, but I usually arrive. Uh, in class around at around 10. Vấn đề mà em hay bị đi muộn nhất đấy chính là giao thông ấy ạ. Và đặc biệt là tại vì nếu mà đi từ nhà xa đến trường thì hay bị mắc ở đoạn đường Xuân Thủy ạ. Thì em hay mắc ở đoạn đường mấy khoảng từ 5 đến 10 phút cho nên mới đi muộn ạ. Hoặc là do em chuẩn bị những thứ khác nó one of the main reasons I uh, am always late for class is because I always uh, stay up late to deal with the homework. So the next morning I have to wake up late. Additionally, uh, on my way to school, I am stuck in the traffic jams in Hanoi Street. So that's the reason why I am always late for class. Okay, um, so I think for me, um, my first reason is that I tend to stay up late at night, so that makes it harder for me to like, get up early on time. Um, the second reason is, is that sometimes um, the class I'm going to, um, I don't really enjoy that class, so I tend to procrastinate on uh, going to the class. The biggest reasons for my coming late the first one is that sometimes when the class is like early, maybe around 6 a.m., then uh, it's around 7 a.m., then it's going to be really hard for me to get up early, wake up early, because I usually sleep very late because we have a lot of deadlines and uh, we also need to have like part time job as well. So, yeah. And the second reason is that um, my house is quite far away from the university, it's about 14 kilometers. So it usually takes me around one hour to get to school. So yeah, that's why I'm always late. Well, I think it's a norm for students to be late. So I feel normal when I'm late. But uh, however, in some situation, uh, uh, the teacher's lessons may be interrupted by me if uh, I'm not uh, in punctual. I think that the most um, dominant feeling is uh, that I'm disappointed in myself. 
um, because I could show a professional side to my peers and to my teachers. Well, when I'm late, um, the first thing I ever feel is that uh, I feel really scared and panicked because I know that when I'm come when I come into the class, then the teacher is gonna stare at me, and I might like you know uh, interrupt her teaching. So yeah, I always feel scared, and I'm always scared that I'm always scared that I might have like bad impressions on her. Yeah, and the second thing I feel is that sometimes I feel very it's very unfair for me because I live quite far away from the university, and why I have to wake up early, prepare everything earlier than my friends, but I still you know, come to school late. Why there are all the friends who will live near, like within the campus of the university, they don't have to wake up early, they still, yeah, arrive in time, on time. Of course, I, uh, punctuality is of the most importance to me. It not only shows your professionalism but also your attitude to work and study. For example, if you turn up uh, on time for schools and um, meetings, uh, it can um, create a great impression on your teachers and um, your friends. Uh, like in some other situation, uh, when you show up early in the interview, uh, it will increase your um, like the tendency to uh, go into the next round. I think it's very important that we be on time. Um, because uh, it does not only reflect our personality and our um, inner self, but it also um, makes us accountable for our own education or our own learning. Um, so if you cannot like, wake up and uh, get to school on time, then what about later in the future when you go to work, when you go to um, important events, things like that? It's very necessary because it's already a rule. You have to be on time so that you can start, so that you can help teachers start their lessons on time and early. And yes, I think it's definitely necessary. For example, I um, go to bed early in the morning, in the evening before 11 p.m. to uh, to wake up early in the next morning. But uh, actually, due to my impatience and indiscipline, I it, it didn't the solution didn't work at all. It only uh, uh, have the effects for the short time. I can do it for the long time. I have. Um, so my uh, go-to way is just to um, go to bed earlier. And another way is that I set the clock on my phone like to two hours earlier, so that I can always make it even if I'm a, a little late. They work quite effectively. Um, but sometimes my procrastination tendency gets in the way and I'm still figuring, figuring things out. During my third year in university, I always arrive very late, around like 20 minutes late. Yeah, and, and I try to you know, change myself 
by waking up, waking up early, like maybe early, 30 minutes earlier only, because I know that um, if you go earlier than usual, then you can avoid traffic jam and like rush hours, then it could save you a lot of time. So that's why I think I came up with a solution of you know waking up like just 15 minutes earlier and go to school 30 minutes earlier than the schedule. Yeah, and I think it's worth. I'm only late, like around 10 minutes, not 20 minutes anymore. <laughs> the viewpoints toward this issue were quite various. One of them found it normal, one was scared and panicked, another one had a feeling of disappointment. Lastly, the feeling of being unfair were interestingly mentioned. Four before interviewees have tried some ways to improve their lateness. To be specific, one method was reported to work effectively, namely setting phones to clock earlier. With the solutions of getting up several minutes earlier, it might depend on personal determination. It could work quite well on some, but it might be just a short-term way for another. We can all see that interviewees reach an agreement on the importance of punctuality for classes. Habitual lateness to class might have a negative impact on academic performance if happening on an ongoing basis, since arriving late and missing school hours will necessarily curtail the hours of instruction and cause the students to forfeit important academic opportunities. Excessive and chronic lateness will lead students to establish a habit of poor punctuality which has been considered one of the determining factors in the manifestation of professionalism, integrity, and respect. On top of that, university undergraduates either are going to or have already been entering the future workforce warranting a code of work ethics in which being on time would be of paramount importance need to pay attention to this very virtue.